Welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Last time, we got to a very long staircase to the final boss. Duke, we have the four elemental spirits. Their power can counter the Autophagos. There's no need to use people to destroy the Autophagos. Look at its size. Four spirits are nothing against it. They're crucial. We'll make up the rest by turning the Blastia cores to spirits, too. Every single core in the world! And as a bonus, it'll put an end to the Blastia culture that you hate so much. Not too shabby, huh? I doubt humans will hand over their Blastia quietly. Or will you force them? Can you not believe that people can move forward and change? Humans will not let something go once it is in their grasp. So you won't listen? We will destroy the Autophagos our own way. Please, wait just a little longer. And will the world return to its former state? Huh? Will the air be controlled by the Entelikea? Will all life return to a time when nature ruled? No. You are changing this world, our Terka Lumeres. For what? For the convenience of humans. Nothing more. Can't you think that the world might be growing? I think of the Entelikea becoming spirits as evolution. Can't you see that? I would not presume to speak on the choices of the Entelikea. However, I also have my choices. So you won't listen to us because we're humans? You say you can't trust people, so you just drop everything. Then when it's too late, you try to wipe them out? Do you know what this tower is? Tarkaron was once a city, but the ancients turned it into a weapon. To destroy the Entelikea. <sighs> To the ancients who did not recognize the threat of the Blastia. The Antilochia who attacked the Blastia were nothing more than a nuisance. And the air went out of balance, and the Autophagos appeared. Only then did humans listen to the words of the Antilochia. Our world has seen many sacrifices, yet humans committed the same offense, and they will again. Those who eat away and ruin this world. Those who would change the world for their own continued existence. They are apostles of destruction greater than even the Atafagos. I made a vow to my friend that I would protect this world. Lucifer. So Chroma told you. Yeah, she also told us to stop you. She listened to us too and became a spirit. So please, we can do this together. Enough. If the Entelikea would throw away their mission, then I will take it up. I need not wait for your method. Once I complete this formula, the world will be saved. Duke, stop! As long as humans rule, they will commit the same offense time and again. If that happens, their hearts will grow wild and the future will be even more painful. Even if that happens, it's the path we choose. Even if we are hurt or stopped, we can still walk again as long as we don't give up. She's right. You'll never find anything new if you're afraid of making mistakes, of failing. And unlike you, we haven't chosen this path on our own. Everyone decided on it. Yeah, going it alone might be tough, but we're not alone. If one person can't do it, then we do it together. I finally learned that we can walk together like that! That may be sufficient for those who are connected to one another. However, there will always be some who cannot accept a difficult future. 
You all surely understand that. It will be difficult, but that is reality. They will take what changes, think, and change again, both the people and the world. So even if it takes tens, hundreds of years, they will listen someday. I know this now. That's what it means to live. Right. There are things you have to protect. But this old man wants to see what lies ahead for people in the next era. See how the fools change for those who can't see them anymore. We are in contradiction. However, our feelings for the world are no different. How odd. No, it's not. The future we chose, what we see for the future, is different. The future must be protected. If it is not, then destruction awaits. We make the future. You trust the path you choose and create it. It is inevitable. Come. Yes, this is it. Final boss of the game. Duke. Stage one. Uh, level 60. He is not that tough. <laughs> Just go in and pound him. First form is quite easy. Um, We're gonna kill the Autophago, so stay yeah. The way. Talking. I'll let it go. The Intellikea, the Kritia, they've chosen the same path. I have no reason to go along with your plan. We made this choice so humans and Intellikea could move on together. The Intellikea will regret that decision, and humans will wish they had died. I don't think anybody's gonna think that. Trust me. I won't regret it, no matter what you say. Our resolve runs deeper than that. Even if it means fighting for our lives. Such a foolish conclusion. There is no longer any point in talking. That's too bad. I guess we can't change you. No more! Yep, okay, so his secret mission in his, is in his second half, so, uh... Just continue pounding him away. He shouldn't be that tough, in all honesty. Zoggy, Zoggy is tougher than he is, although this guy actually gets more attacks off than Zoggy did. Because Zoggy, you can just run around and not get hit by. <sighs> although I haven't gotten much hits. Oh yeah, he uses an overlimit. When he gets low. Yeah, he's down to 60. He's about to die. Very soon. Um, I should make note... Oh, never mind, I'll make note next time, in the next phase.